Well, this is Clint Locklear from the Farmer's Grove. Just a little tip. Well, we, we had a really bad drought last year, which you've heard me talk about it. Anyway, I lost a lot of stuff in here. Believe it or not, this used to have a lot more plants in this. It used to be just covered with echinacea and black-eyed Susans and Jerusalem artichokes. I mean, it, it was so bad that it, it killed about 99% of my Jerusalem artichokes. And a lot of the herbs that were in here, that, that they just got waxed. So, I mean, it was a crazy extreme drought. So I don't have as much stuff in here in this part of the food forest as I normally would. The, the cannons and the, you know, a lot of the stuff comes back and the roses did okay. And, you know, some of the, the trees that were little didn't do well. So we've planted some different uh, fruit trees in here with the peach trees. But what I wanted to tell you is if you're, if you're wanting to add some, some, some character and beauty to what you're doing, I added a lot of plants to this very, very simply. Now, this is, looks like kind of like a mess right now, but uh, all these with the little flowers that are in there, I just took an older bag of bush beans that I had and I broadcast them all through this. Even though there's dappled shade, they, they're doing very well. These taller plants right here are nothing but bird seed, black oily sunflowers. And I took three or four handfuls of those and I just, just threw them out through this part of the system. You can see some more over here, along with the beans being all mixed in. Most of what you're seeing in there is beans and comfrey and there's some amaranth and stuff back there along with some uh, bee balm and different herbs. But uh, think about how simple that is. You're getting the system started you know, just take some, broadcast some beans. What I did is I broadcasted the beans and I went through where I knew there wasn't any plants that I was trying to keep because most of them had died out. I let that grass fall on those seeds after I, I put them out, just like the natural farming thing, and lo and behold, stuff grows. So something that was more of an eyesore because it became so empty because of the, because this is kind of sandy soil here, it just, no matter what we did last year as far as water, we couldn't outcompete the drought. So we had this loss. This year, I'm coming back in. I've already started regrowing a lot of the echinacea and stuff for, for herb usage and teas. So I'm going to be putting those in in the fall. But just to get me from one year to the next and have some, you know, some real production coming out of here, we're going to have a lot of beans and a lot of sunflowers that's going to go to the chickens. Plus, they just look cool coming from the food forest it looks really neat and it was cheap super super cheap now one thing that I did do this year which uh, I've never really done before is I grew these giant marigolds from seeds so I've got maybe a dollar fifty in these I had no idea how big they're gonna be I've got them in some of the beds now that are almost three feet tall they haven't started putting on flowers yet but it's it's that's that's a big old plant and it's cheap to put in and it gives you a lot of visual impact. So just because you don't go, you don't have plants, don't be afraid that you have to put everything in in plugs and stuff. Broadcast seed and see what happens. This fennel that's growing and some more fennel that is back here through the, the sunflowers and there's another one right over there. Here's another one right here. In the fall, I will get the seeds off of this bronze fennel and I just scatter them through here and they show up. They've showed up all different type places and it's, it's, it costs next to nothing, but it's a very uh, valuable product, especially if you're going to get into the restaurant side because around here anyway, there's not a lot of people that are doing herbs and it's just a, a, a way that you can really get some, some good biomass growing and some good usage of what you're doing without spending very much money. So when you read the books that say you need to plant a half inch deep, say like on bush beans, well, you're looking at hundreds of bush beans right now. They're gonna put on a lot of beans for me and Cindy that all I did was throw them on the ground, cut the weeds and the grass, and let that fall down kind of as a mulch, and then all of a sudden they blow up to the plants that you see, uh, that you can plainly see and I didn't have to put them in the ground. And my energy usage on that to get that production was almost zero.